Hello and welcome to something a little bit different. Um, today we're going to be working on 10 Master Clue Scrolls. I figured since it's taking a very long time to get some progress made on the boss kills and not getting drops is really frustrating, I figured that to supplement that I would do something that I actually love doing but I never find the time to do which is Master Clues. I've got 10 of them here and I'm going to get them all done. Now there are rules for this. First of all, I cannot use alt one to solve the puzzles which is going to be interesting it's going to challenge me to do more it makes it a bit more interesting and a bit more rewarding i think as well because if you just open up alt one and get the solution it doesn't feel like it actually feels quite tedious because you just like you know there's there's no sort of reward to those experiences so i figured you know i'm gonna do them legit cool i just did this clue and i just got it again i will not complain um just another wave another one to kill Cool. Can we get the same clue three times in a row? Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Oh, well. Cool, we've got our first challenge, which is a Towers one. Now, I'm hoping it's an easy one. So, Towers with a one in them need a five in that square. And we've got four of those, which is really cool. And from that, we can figure out where the last five is going to go, which is going to be here. And, oh, this is going to take some doing, isn't it? So I've been at this for a while and currently I've managed to get the fives in place and two fours which are guaranteed because threes cannot have a four or a five in them because otherwise you could never see three towers. So there's got to be a one, two or a three, 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 one, two or a three and one, two or a three. Then furthermore, the fours can't have a four or a five in them or a three um, because then you could never see four towers. That's got to be either one or two. And then the one behind it then ultimately has to be one, two, or three. So that you could see those. Uh, same with this one here. So this is definitely one, two, or three. So that's got to be four because that's one, two, or three. And that's one or two. So I've got some experimenting to do now. Based on there being a 1 there, this would then have to be a 2, and this would then have to be a 3, and then because of that, in order to get 3 along here, that would then also have to be a 3, meaning that would then be a 1. Does this all work 3? So 2, 3, and 5 is 3 seen there, 2 here, 4, and 5. <laughs> Because there's nothing left in there we're going to throw a four in there and then we can need a one in there because that's all that's left and then we can deduce that this is going to be a four and this is going to be a one and that should be completed <laughs> okay okay so i think i've done this now so two here you can only see the three and the five the one you can only see the five the four you can see one three four and five two you can see four and five three you can see two four five and then from the top Three, you can see one, three, five. Three, you can see two, three, five. Here, one and five. Three, you can see three, four and five. Two, you can see four and five. And then going across, you can see one, two, five, and four, five. And here you can see three, four, five. And here you can see five. You can see five there and two, four, five. And then you see one, two, three, five, and two, four, five. And then you see two, four, five, and three, five. Check. Done it. How cool was that? That only took me, um, half an hour? Bloody hell. So I've got a new clue, and this one requires me to get some Demon Slayer gloves. Now, Demon Slayer gloves are dropped by Calderi Calgarian Demons, and there is a drop rate of 3 in 2048, according to the Rune Wiki, meaning I'd probably need around 650 or so kills in order to get a pair, and, ugh, you know... I'm not a big fan of Calder Calder de Demons, uh, so I'm going to use a skipping ticket, which I will come to regret, but I'm going to do it. So I need to shrug in here. Where's shrug at? Oh, look at that. Easy peasy. Skip that clue. E. e. Okay, that is casket number three. Yeah, I think that's casket number three. Oh, I can't start another one until I complete this casket clue. Ah, oh, this is E. So essentially with these ones, I've pretty much got it down that you just use each following layer to sort of get yourself going there. So there, we've got that pretty much nailed now. Now the only issue is, because we've got all of these down here, we need to basically look at how we can get these to be changed. So if we were to... 2... 1... 2... 1... 1... 2... 1... I'm probably not doing this right, but I'm going to do it. There we go. That was it. I just didn't click enough times. There we are. Solid. 
So I've got a bit of a problem here. I click on that and it says I can't because I've already got a clue scroll in progress, which is this master casket. Now I don't want to open it because that's going to kind of ruin my, my gist, but it looks like I'm going to have to open it. So here we go. First one opened. <laughs> okay. So I got my first uh, tower clue that's got one, two, three, four, and five in it because of the five up here. I didn't actually know if that was a thing. Um, but it certainly is, which means this tower is actually going to be super easy to solve. Okay, this should be it. Check it. Oh, how cool is that? I love getting these done now. It makes me feel very good about myself. Okay, next one up is... Uh... Of course it's in the heart of Gilador, the biggest place to look around for this stuff. Oh, well, I'm going to crack. Okay, I just got myself my second... Well, I say my second casket. I've done five of them now, actually, so uh, five more to go. So, I'm not too sure how much of this recorded because I just realised as I was pressing my hotkey to start stop recording, the recording software wasn't even open. <laughs> but we've got 10 caskets here. I don't think I missed too much. Um, but basically, there was a couple of um, lock boxes that we did that were super easy and I figured those out pretty well now. And there's a couple of tower ones where I got loads of the ones in them. Sorry, the fives in them. So I knew the order pretty much straight away. It was pretty cool. But anyway, we're going to start opening these. And the first one is worth 500k, which... To be honest, I'm going to re-roll it. I don't really want the money, and the items are kind of garbage. So we're going to re-roll that for 1.2 mil with some evening gloves. Nice. Okie dokie. So that's the first one done. Casket number two is 257k. That is disgusting. Number three is 899k. What do we get? Oh, Hydrix Bolt Tips. That's what it is. Okay. Not the best that we've got. Let's go again. 1.8 mil with a flaming sword enchantment what on earth is that okay i've looked it up and it's actually an override um that we can redeem now so if i redeem that yep that means that we've now got that in the override thing in appearance is it uh wardrobe sorry and then it should be on swords okay i can't seem to find it i'll find it a little bit later next one to open is worth 376k and we're of course going to re-roll that for 1.4 mil with a bag of clues nice i've always wanted the bag of clues Wait, did I not get this before? I feel like I already got this and I've just completely forgotten. But a bag of clues is there, which is pretty cool. Number five. Sorry, this is number six, which is worth 300k, which is a little more disappointing. And then 783k with a golden dragon fruit and some Hydrix bolt tips. I'm going to reroll that because I don't care about the money there. For 200k, I kind of wish I didn't do that. We've got three more to go. At two point something mil with a tuxedo cravat and a tuxedo jacket. Damn, that's pretty decent. Okay, I'm going to need to bank this stuff. The final two caskets, I've kept all of our uniques out. Let's see what we get. 754k with pretty much nothing other than the Hydrix Bolt Tips that we can really be happy about. And then the final one is a mill, which has the Hydrix Bolt Tips, but I'm going to re-roll it because I think we can do better than that. With 400k, we absolutely cannot. Okay, well that's kind of all of the clues for this episode. It's going to be a bit of a different one next episode because that um, Infinity Boots grind took up a lot of time that I had. But next episode, what's going to be taking up the time is the fact that I quite literally have only four sealed Master Clues. So we are going to have to do some of my Elites in order to try and get some Masters. Failing that, we're then going to have to farm out some Elites, which is most likely going to be done through Barrows. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting way to see how this progresses. But we got tell you what, I'm going to find out if they're all unique so let's open the treasure chest see what we've got search and we're going to go master do we are oh, we already do have the bag of clues I thought we might have done as well um as for the tuxedo stuff and the evening gloves I don't believe we've got those which is super interesting what do we need for the full tuxedo oh wow there's five pieces what about the evening stuff there's five pieces of evening gear as well um so it's not looking likely that we're going to get those put in here anytime soon, but it's still nice to have. Anyway, thank you all for watching this episode. Sorry it took so long to get a video out. It's just been a very hectic time. I've moved house twice in two weeks and I've been a little bit off the ball with things. If you did enjoy this type of video, please let me know down below and I'll continue doing them. If you absolutely hated it, also let me know. Be kind, please, for goodness sake. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video.